Okay, well, let's take a look. It's lovely. Um, it's hard to um, resolve it. I find myself um, bouncing between levels as I look at it, because at one level it's a, a, um, a, a pattern of colors and a rhythm. Um, and I like the colors and the rhythm. And at the same time, it seems to have elements of a picture, of a representative picture of something. There's a, um, something that looks like a ground and something that looks like it's uh, more or less framing it, uh, hanging, uh, coming over the sides, and it looks like there's a center where um, my eye is drawn, as a tr or maybe my brain is drawn as I try to um, get the center to be a picture of something. And I have no idea if that's appropriate um, or whether it's just a brain trick that um, the upper right looks, looks a little bit like there's a face there and a body on the right and another body on the left and one's standing and one's um, one's horizontal or, or falling and that there's uh, looks like there's motion in the middle. Um, but again, I can't tell if that's a brain trick or something intentional on the part of the artist or, or both. It looks like it's composed out of uh, repeated pieces, um, whether that's a, a field of, of organic matter or you know, flowers or something, or whether it's um, a, a set of people. And it's hard to, um, it's, it's hard to resolve that as a, uh, as a representational picture, and so I bounce back to um, it as a rhythm of colors and design. At this point, I, if this were, if this were hanging uh, in a gallery, I would have checked the, um, the artist's title for it, um, which I often have mixed feelings about doing, as I, as I do now. Because on the one hand, I assume that the artist wants the picture to, uh, the painting to speak for itself. On the other hand, things don't really speak for themselves. And if the artist wants to give me, as a viewer, um, some guidance that will resolve the picture in a particular way, um, I'm happy to get that. So, um, so what is the title of this? Um, the title is Titanic. Hmm. Uh, so now the next layer, next level of the brain trick continues where my brain says, ah, okay. Titanic, I know a little bit about this myth. It's, uh, I don't know enough to be able to identify the figures, but now I'm pretty sure that I'm supposed to be looking for, have my brain resolve this as, as figures, a titanic struggle with the, the small folks, which are us at the bottom and the, uh, the great titans um, battling for um, supremacy. And so I, it had seemed before I knew the title to be, uh, the horizontal didn't seem to be somebody in repose. It did seem to be somebody who perhaps was knocked down, was on the, being killed, you know, uh, struck. Um, and the central swirl of, of what looks like action now resolves itself as a blow. And so the, the, the bottom, which, um, had seemed organic one way or another, now resolves very much as people in turmoil and um, uh, people watching, possibly being crushed. Um, I find myself moved by art where the artist has managed through the use of sort of mere paint and little motions of her, his hand, to um, create something that so, is so overwhelming visually that you can't imagine that this was made out of mere oil and, and bristle. And I, I find that um, really emotional. Um, and I really like this painting that way. I do like the way in which the colors reflect or cause or modify, I'm not sure what the word is, but you know, the integration of, of the, the um, way in which the 
picture moves your eye around from the bottom to the right and then up in sort of a spiral towards the center, which is supposed to be the, because it's a center, it's supposed to be the center of, uh, of, um, of the action. Um, it's sort of the last thing you get to because the rhythm of it moves you around and the rhythm seems to be either accomplished by or magnified by the use of the blue and the yellow, the colors in it. Uh, I like that a lot. Well, it looks very much at home in our living room. I'm going to be sorry to see it go, but...